That's all. Yep, whenever you're ready. Okay, yep, fine. Okay, good afternoon everyone. So in the coming five minutes, I'm um, uh, going to show you some um, simple uh, characters in Chinese. What are they? We're just going to scratch the surface, don't worry too much, but I guarantee it'll be lots of fun. Um, unlike English words, there are quite a amount of Chinese characters uh, which derive from pictures directly. For example, the word pronouncing shui, which means water, is derived from a simple picture, from such a creek picture. And similarly, the word for fire, pronouncing huo, was developed from nothing but a jumping plane. And for some issues which have more complicated meanings, we're going to use some combination methods. For example, given the word for tree, we can, we can produce a new word for grove just by adding two trees together. So that's the grove. Pronouncing name, actually it's my feminine name. The same word. And if we add a third tree on top, it will give us the word for forest, the woods. But never add a fourth tree, that word doesn't exist. <laughs> and Chinese people love using the blessing words to decorate their belongings, which we believe will bring us uh, good luck, fortune, or joy. For example, this, this fu means luck, good luck. Um, I'd say it's one of the most popular words in China. Uh, you're going to say it everywhere. Uh, for example, the Chinese Latin, especially in Chinese New Year. Credit card, a cushion, and also on this piggy bank. Also see this word. And even some um, uh, items or animals whose uh, words or characters having the same pronunciation have the same pronunciation as the Latin words become popular just because the similar or same pronunciation. For example, the arm guard of the Chinese sword is carved into the shape of the bat just because the pronunciation of the animal is the same as food. And also on the piggy bank you also see a similar printing that's also a bat shape. So, having a Chinese name would not be an easy job, but it would be quite interesting. So, sometimes you really need to consider about the pronunciation, whether it's easy to pronounce, because there are hundreds of thousands of Chinese characters. And even we Chinese do not know quite a lot of them. We do not use them, use them frequently. And also, the characters in your Chinese name have good meanings, and whether it uh, suits your personalities or your style. So, that, so these are the three main things you need to consider. So that's all we're going to talk about for today. And at the end, I got each of you a small gift for each of you. Uh, I made a Chinese name for you according to your English name. For you, and also for each other. <laughs> So on it, you have your Chinese character and the pronunciation and the related meanings and also a picture on it. Thank you. Thank you.